you thought you knew what the fast lane was. Think again. Now, the Autobahn on Modern Marvels. Speed. It's dangerous, exhilarating, intoxicating, and illegal beyond clearly set limits that are posted on every major highway in the world, except one. It's midnight at a gas station just off the German Autobahn in southern Bavaria. We are about to live out every armchair speedster's fantasy to push the needle on the speedometer as far as it will go. In this car, the needle's going to go pretty far. This car you see here was a car from Great Britain, and the customer brings it to us as a stock 996 Turbo with 420 horsepower. Hans has to certify exactly how fast this $200,000 Porsche can go before sending it to its owner in London. The Autobahn is the ideal place and the only major highway in the world where he can legally make this kind of test run. The Autobahn for us is a good road to test all our cars. We have mostly no speed limit and also it's in a, in a really good condition. So it's really safe to test cars in this way by night. First you learn slowly to walk and then you learn faster to walk. And so it's the same impression you had with speed. Of course, it's fun to go really, really fast with cars. So, but at the end, you must be always really careful and all your eyes must be watching all around, so also by side and also in front a little bit. At this speed, even the super smooth surface of the Autobahn, specially maintained to accommodate really fast drivers, feels rough and pitted. And the slow and gentle Autobahn curves designed to allow drivers to reach and hold extreme speeds, strain the Porsche. The hardest part at that speed is if you see cars in front of you and you are not really sure how they react. Sometimes they are sleeping and they turning to the middle line. So you must be really sure that the line is clear and uh, that is not a car who can make something wrong in front of you. You must be really concentrated at, at that speed because the car runs uh, over two or three hundred meters per second. This 520 horsepower Porsche tops out at 7200 RPMs and 212 miles per hour. That's with a camera crew of two squeezed into the side and rear bucket seats. Welcome to the Autobahn, the only freeway in the world where 212, a speed that police helicopters can't match, is perfectly legal. This is the ultimate driver's fantasy land, not just for professionals, but for anyone with a license. A kind of bizarro world where all the basics are in reverse. It's actually illegal to drive too slow, but there are no limits at all for thousands of miles of Autobahn on how fast you can go. Hard as it is to get weird and counterintuitive as it seems, driving without limits, at least as it's practiced in Germany, is as safe and possibly safer and the more conservative approach favored by the rest of the world. I think generally uh, the average American looks at the Autobahn as, you know, Germany's way of population control. And ultimately, if you look at it statistically, it's very safe to drive on the Autobahn, and especially the last 10, 15 years, it's scored consistently a lower death rate than our American interstate. But how is this possible? One can't help but think on the face of it that a freeway on which people can go 212 would be incredibly dangerous. Not so. 
in exchange for the right to fly, Autobahn drivers have to sacrifice other freedoms. The Germans uh, permit much higher speeds, but uh, force uh, much more rigid controls in how you behave on the highways in terms of lane discipline. Here, you can meander all over all the lanes and uh, wherever you want to go, provided you drive within the posted limits. They have a law that they call, it's Rechtsfahren, drive right. You can only drive in the right-hand lane and pass in the left. And that's the law. If you pass on the right, you can be pulled over and given a ticket. And so everybody rigidly observes this. So the slower traffic is always to the right, and there's never a, a left lane bandit or a slowpoke sitting in the left lane blocking traffic. Autobahn drivers don't just drive right. They drive with a distinctive concentration and focus, one that 100 plus miles an hour has a way of quickly inducing. There is no multitasking on the Autobahn, no talking on the cell phone, no eating on the run. German companies never understood why we needed cup holders, because driving is an activity in itself. One takes pride and, and has to put full concentration in driving. It's not something you do while slurping on a 7-up, as we Americans. I mean, that, that whole idea of, of the cup holder, in a way, illustrates the difference between the way the automobile in the United States is wrapped into the very fabric of everyday life, eating and drinking whereas it's an important part of German life, but it is pursued almost for its own sake. Another factor that makes the Autobahn safe at any speed is the road itself. The Autobahn is more than twice as thick as the American interstate, 27 inches of asphalt and concrete, which prevents cracking. And maintenance is extraordinary. When a crack does appear, the entire section of road is quickly replaced which is why maintenance slowdowns are a frequent occurrence. As a rule, the Autobahn is incredibly smooth. You can't have potholes on a road where you can drive 120 or, or faster. Structural features also make a difference, especially the double-sided crash guardrails that separate opposing lines of traffic and prevent head-on collisions. Most of the American interstate has a weaker single barrier or none at all. And it's much harder to get a driver's license here. Individual driver's training is mandatory. And the license itself, which you have to be 18 to get, costs between $1,500 and $2,000. A key feature of the Autobahn safety net, of course, is the quality of German cars. Cars designed from the 1930s on, with the Autobahn in mind. Cars that can go incredibly fast, but that are also beautifully maneuverable at extreme speeds. And as this footage shot by the German Highway Patrol illustrates, cars that can save a life at any speed. I would credit the unlimited speed limits of the German Autobahns of not only creating very highly engineered and effective automobiles, but very safe automobiles. The suspensions, the gearboxes, the brakes, the steering, the lights, the structure of these cars uh, became the best in the world in many ways because they were tested in the crucible of high-speed running on a German Autobahn. That in... But outside the major cities, the Autobahn still affords plenty of opportunities for ordinary drivers to open up an experience of freedom of the road that the rest of the world can only fantasize about. 100, 110 miles an hour is perfectly easy to do and uh, very, very comfortable, and uh, I find it uh, about the, the normal speed. Although, if you're driving 100 miles an hour in Germany on the open autobahn, you better watch your rearview mirror and stay right, because you may find a BMW or a Mercedes or a Porsche go by at as much as 130, 140 miles an hour. The first time you get on the Autobahn is just a, an exhilarating experience. You see that sign, the round sign with the diagonal lines through it, which is the end of speed restrictions, and you are now on a road that has no speed limit.
listening to Beethoven as you drive 110 miles an hour down the Autobahn is just one of the life-affirming experiences that you can have if you're a car buff. You're supposed to test your car, test yourself, drive faster. Get places, of course, fast. The road is somewhat of an adventure, and I think it was designed to be that from the very beginning.